my lovely students welcome to methodological in this session we'll be discussing xgmt emotional quotient questions memory based questions basically from last year from 2024 examination and as far as xgmt is concerned there is no clear pattern as such we know that there are four sections out of those four sections one section is eq and gk emotional quotient and general knowledge so in that section last year we got total 40 questions and these 40 questions have to be attempted in 20 minutes okay but as such ye maan ke chalo ki 35 to 40 questions will be there this year as well and the time will be 20 minutes so this time is basically the crucial factor basically you are getting 30 to 40 seconds 30 seconds 35 seconds for one question so that is what makes this part difficult okay gk may definitely you can uh, attempt the question in 20 seconds so basically out of these uh, 40 questions uh, there are will be 15 to 20 questions from eq emotional quotient so we have total 10 questions 10 memory based questions from last year attempt karte hain approach dekhte hain aur fir agar session pasand aata hai tumko so we'll be covering up more emotional quotient questions okay so first question a mother has recently lost one of her children and is overwhelmed with grief as someone trying to console her, which of the following approaches would demonstrate high emotional intelligence and offer support in a more compassionate and empathetic way? Now, for emotional uh, question questions, what we have to focus on is basically for any question, there will be two parts. Take one part will be I, the person making the decision, and second part will be you, the others. Okay? And the person that is making the decision should be having, should be aware about his own emotions, awareness about emotions, and then he will also be able to regulate his emotions. So, which implies self-awareness as well as self-regulation. And then apart from that, he should also be aware about the emotions of others, which is known as empathy. He should be empathetic towards the other person and then he should have social skills social skills imply that he is able to manage emotions of others he is able to help others in managing their emotions okay so these four aspects awareness of himself or herself awareness or and regulation of emotions for himself or herself and then awareness of emotions of others and then social skills so these four parts you have to focus on in any question Okay, and since the time is less, so for that, for that, questions to solve. We have to solve. So basically, question is: Mother has recently lost one of her children and is overwhelmed with grief. As someone trying to console her, which of the following approaches would demonstrate high emotional intelligence and offer support in a more compassionate and empathetic way? Option A: Death is inevitable, and we all have to accept it. Okay, you still have other children. Now this is very, very rude, and definitely not empathetic. So this will not be the answer. Option B, I can't even imagine the pain you are going through. So, this part is fine. I can't even imagine the pain you are going through. But remember, time heals all wounds. You'll feel better soon. So, this option should be on hold. This seems decent. Option C, I know this is incredibly hard for you. And it's okay to feel this way. Take all the time you need. And I'm here if you need anything. Now, between B and C, C is better. I know this is incredibly hard. So, the person is accepting that this time is difficult for the mother it's okay to feel this way take all the time you need and unconditional support at the end i'm here if you need anything so this is better than option b definitely option d you are lucky that you still have other children absolutely wrong answer so answer will be option c between b and c definitely c will be the answer clear okay next question You are in process of adopting a child from an orphanage. The child has lost their parents to COVID-19. What should be your primary consideration when choosing woman whom to adopt? So primary consideration is important. There might be other considerations, but which should be your primary consideration? Option A, child's physical appearance, definitely not primary <coughs> condition, primary consideration. Child's gender, child's health and well-being, and child's age and development stage. Now, most important should be child's health and well-being. Basically, the physical and mental needs of the child. 
the health and well being the physical and mental needs of the child that you are going to adopt isn't it so then second priority should be for the age and development stage and gender and physical appearance so these things come secondary primary consideration should be physical and mental need physical and emotional needs as such mental and emotional needs i mean you should be empathetic towards the child okay empathy compassion these should be there to physical and mental or as such emotional needs of the child that is what well being is part of next question two children are quarreling over a packet of chips what would you do theek okay? hai you can obviously take that packet of chips aur jhagda khatam ho jayega so option a ignore the situation let them figure it out themselves definitely not you will ignoring is never the solution in any decision making question or emotional uh, question question divide the chips equally between them this is a good option bhai jhagda isi baat pe barabar aap baat do option c buy another packet of chips and give the one to each child now c is also fine d tell them to stop being greedy and take the chips away so between b and c kaun sa choose karoge between b and c which one is better buy another packet of chips aur jhagda khatam kar do ya divide the chips equally between b and c you will be choosing b why because dekho problem to c se bhi solve ho raha hai jhagda khatam ho jayega ek packet aur khareed diya aur dono ko ek ek packet de diya but in general in life you will always have to share resources theek hai na resources are always limited so sharing and caring has to be uh, understood by those children because abhi wo ye baat nahi samajh pa rahe isliye jhagda kar rahe hain isliye to jhagda kar rahe hain ek dusre ke sath isn't it so to so you have to resolve the conflict as well as teach them sharing and caring and fairness theek hai so for that you will be dividing the chips equally between them and not purchasing another packet of chips because usse fir sharing unko nahi samajh mein aayega ki ek sath mein share kaise kar sakte hain ek dusre ki needs ka respect kaise kar sakte hain cooperate kaise kar sakte hain so for that you will be dividing chips equally for cooperation for sharing john feels consistently stressed at work due to an overwhelming workload which of the following strategies is least likely to help john manage his work stress effectively least likely yani ki three options should be more likely than the one option prioritizing tasks based on deadlines this seems fine delegating tasks that others can handle this is also fine taking short breaks throughout the day this is also positive option d avoiding communication with his team to focus solely on his tasks now this is the problematic part option d should be the answer this is least likely to help john manage his work stress because he is avoiding communication with his team members with his teammates isn't it so so there are better options always there theek and uh, this avoiding wala part will definitely hinder the collaboration he will not be able to collaborate with his team members and this will not help manage work stress for him next question you visit an orphanage and notice that all the children are looking quite gloomy you want to lift their spirits and make them smile smile which of the following actions would most effectively achieve this so in orphanage all the children are looking quite gloomy so what should be the answer option a perform something funny like a dance or a silly act to make them laugh okay option b show them a funny picture or video that might catch their attention and make them smile option c share a funny story or joke that is relevant to their ages and interest all seem very close option d ask them directly why they are feeling sad and encourage them to talk about their interest now option d is very good but the point is that in this question we need the desirable aspect is lift their spirits and make them smile option d is very good in terms of eq i mean you will be asking them directly why they are feeling what they are feeling and encourage them to talk about their feelings but the point is they, this will not make them smile okay this will help them in engage with a in a conversation with you but kya unko smile karne mein help karega definitely help nahi karega theek hai because they are already sad due to some reason so smile to nahi karenge uski wajah se so we have to choose between a b and c for this particular question because our purpose is to make them smile so between a b and c which one is best for them sharing a funny story showing them a funny picture or performing something funny like a dance or a silly act theek hai dekho c mein bhi you are sharing a story or joke but a mein you are performing something so a is much more comprehensive in comparison to c or b so definitely a should be the answer because this is more inclusive theek hai this will be more comprehensive in approach so a should be the answer okay agar d or refined hota let us say if d was saying ki ask them directly why they are feeling what they are feeling and then encourage them to talk about their feeling after that if you 
डू सम लाइट हार्टेड जोक और समथिंग तो डी बेस्ट ऑप्शन होता है बट डी में क्योंकि वो लास्ट वाला पार्ट नहीं है मैं एकदम स्माइल यू कैन नॉट मेक दम स्माइल विद ओनली द ऑप्शन स्टेटमेंट गिवन सो डेफिनेटली दैट इज वाई विल बी चूजिंग ए ओवर डी ना दिस इज ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन वन ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज अब तक जितने भी क्वेश्चन इंकाउंटर किया दोज वर कंपेरेटिवली ईजी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू एक्सीडेंटली स्पिल्ड वॉटर ऑन यूर कलीग्स डेस्क वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू हैंडल इट इग्नोर इट एंड वॉक अवे डेफिनेटली नॉट Apologize and offer to help clean it up. Yes, this should be the answer. Blame someone else? Definitely not. Wait for your colleague to clean it up. Better option is option B. A and C brutally wrong. Between B and D, definitely B is the correct answer. You receive a gift that you don't really like. How should you respond? Pretend to like it, even though you don't. Yes, this will happen in most cases. But actually, answer क्या होना चाहिए? Option B, tell the giver that you don't like it. Absolutely not. ये तो बिल्कुल नहीं करोगे. Option C, appreciate the thought behind the gift and thank the person sincerely. Now, this should happen. ठीक है. By the way, you are generally appreciating and showing gratitude towards the gift, towards the giver. Isn't it so? So that is the best option. And this all, with this, you are also respecting the intention of the person who is giving you gift. So option C should be the answer and not A, obviously. B and D, so. बिल्कुल भी नहीं होने चाहिए यू सी अ कलीग स्ट्रगलिंग विद आस्क वॉट शुड बी वॉट वुड बी द बेस्ट वे टू हेल्प दम इग्नोर दम एंड फोकस ऑन योर ओन वर्क तो कभी ही आंसर नहीं होगा ऑफर टू हेल्प और सजेस्ट अ सोल्यूशन इफ दे सीम ओपन टू इट टेल दम दे शुड हैव आस्क टू हेल्प अर्लियर कीप वर्किंग एंड होप दे फिगर इट आउट ऑन देयर ओन ए एंड डी आर डेफिनेटली नॉट द आंसर बिटवीन बी एंड सी बी इज मच बेटर ठीक है सी में तुम कह रहे हो कि पहले पूछ लिया होता हेल्प के लिए बट हेल्प तो नहीं कर रहा ना सो बी इज डेफिनेटली बेटर ऑफरिंग टू हेल्प और सजेस्टिंग अ सोल्यूशन इफ दे सीम ओपन टू इट ओके सो बी शुड बी द आंसर क्लियर है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन अ टास्क एंड सडनली गेट स्टक वॉट शुड यू डू ऑप्शन ए कीप स्ट्रगलिंग अंटिल यू फिगर इट आउट ऑन योर ओन यानी कि जो चल रहा है फंसे हो फंसे रहो और लगातार प्रोसेस करते रहो ठीक है सो दैट इज नेवर द सोल्यूशन देर शुड बी सम बेटर आंसर आस्क फॉर हेल्प फ्रॉम अ कलीग और लिव फॉर अ सोल्यूशन ऑनलाइन आई मीन यू आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम विद सम अदर वे बिकॉज यू आर स्टक सो बी इज बेटर देन ए इग्नोर द प्रॉब्लम एंड मूव ऑन टू समथिंग एल्स डेफिनेटली नॉट ठीक है इग्नोर करके यहाँ और बढ़ जाओगे तो दैट इज नॉट द सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू ट्राई टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम विद अदर वे विद सम अदर वे कंप्लेन टू एवरी वन अबाउट हाउ डिफिकल्ट टास्क इज डेफिनेटली नॉट सो आंसर शुड बी ऑप्शन B. Asking for help from a colleague or looking for a solution online. ठीक है. That way it shows that you are trying to solve the problem. If you don't have the resources available, resources are not available to you. Then you are trying other resources. ठीक है. So that you are able to overcome the challenge. ठीक है. तो challenge को overcome करने का तुम्हारा ability है. And you are also collaborative. If you are asking for help from a colleague. Okay. This shows high emotional intelligence. Next one, you want to go to a park, but it's raining heavily. So what's the best course of action? ठीक है, you want to go to park, but it's raining heavily. तो इच्छा तो है तुम्हें पार्क जाने की, but the problem is that it's raining heavily. So what should be the best solution? Option A, wait until the rain drops, rain stops, and go later. ठीक है, you can do that. Option B, go to the park anyway, regardless of the weather. Definitely not. बारिश हो रही है, तो कैसे जाओगे? Raining heavily. ठीक है हल्की फुल्की बारिश नहीं हो रही है तो भीग जाओगे बीमार पड़ जाओगे भाई अपना भी तो ख्याल रखना है ना अपने इमोशंस का को भी कंट्रोल में रखना है रेगुलेट करना है और साथ में अपना ख्याल भी रखना है कि तबीयत भी ठीक रखनी है बारिश में भीग जाओगे बीमार पड़ जाओगे फिर डेफिनेटली बी तो चूज नहीं करोगे सी चेंज प्लान एंड फाइंड एन इंडोर एक्टिविटी इंस्टेड नॉ दिस इज अ गुड ऑप्शन ऑप्शन डी वेट अंटिल टुमारो टू गो टू द पार्क डेफिनेटली नॉट तो बिटवीन ए एंड सी कौन सा चूज करोगे वॉक वेट अंटिल द रेन स्टॉप्स एंड गो लेटर या फिर चेंज प्लान एंड फाइंड एन इंडोर एक्टिविटी इंस्टेड विच वन शुड बी द बेटर ऑप्शन देखो होगा क्या कि कई बार लाइफ में ऐसे इंस्टेंसेस हो सकते हैं होते हैं व्हेन यू हैव टू एडेप्ट टू अ सिचुएशन ठीक है व्हेन यू हैव टू बी फ्लेक्स फ्लेक्सिबल विद द सिचुएशन तो तुम्हें एक तो अपनी वेलबींग का ध्यान रखना है सेकंड थिंग इज दैट यू शुड बी एडेप्टेबल सो यू शुड हैव एडेप्टेबिलिटी एंड फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टू चेंजेस इन सिचुएशन सो इन दिस केस यू प्लान टू गो टू अ पार्क बट इट्स रेनिंग हैवली सो यू शुड बी एबल टू अडेप्ट एंड Switch to a better option in that situation. For example, changing plans and finding an indoor activity instead. So this will be better answer because we have no idea that the rain will last. Nothing is fixed about that. So definitely option C should be the answer. 
इन द गिवन सनारियो अगर ये मैंशन होता कि दस मिनट तक बारिश होने वाली या कुछ और स्पेसिफिक मैंशन होता तो मे बी वी वर्डर स्ट्रिक्ट टू द प्लान बट फॉर नाउ सिंस देर इज अनसर्टेंटी सो सी इज बेटर ऑप्शन चेंजिंग प्लान एंड फाइंडिंग एंड इंडोर एक्टिविटी इंस्टेड इज दैट इट सो इज दैट पार्ट क्लियर ठीक है सो दीज आर ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लास्ट ईयर एक्स जी एम टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इमोशनल क्वेश्चन वाला ऑल द क्वेश्चन ठीक है आई बिलीव कि अप्रोच क्लियर हुआ होगा कि कैसे ऐसे क्वेश्चन को हैंडल करोगे और इन जनरल क्वेश्चन आर इजी द ओनली प्रॉब्लम इज द टाइम दैट इज गिवन इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू ओनली हैव थर्टी टू फोर्टी सेकंड्स टू टैकल आ इमोशनल क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज वॉट मेक्स इट स्लाइटली डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव मच थिंकिंग टाइम देयर ओके दैट सॉल्व फॉर दिस सेशन and next session we'll be discussing some more emotional intelligence questions not from the previous years but definitely some practice questions theek hai aur ye session kaisa laga uh, make sure to comment about that and if you like the session then make sure to hit the like button as well and if you're not already subscribed to the channel then subscribe to the channel as well as press the bell icon that's all for this session and you can also join the telegram channel methodological and can message me on telegram at adityktyekt bye bye take care and keep learning